Yeah, I want access to that room, please. Somebody? Anybody? That room, please? Por favor? Now? Please? Welcome back, everybody, to Worlds Collide for another action-packed episode. I don't actually know if it's going to be action-packed, but I'm contractually obligated to say that before every episode. Son of a... No! No! Bad! Bad spider! Bad! I think I did promise I was going to try out the nether area here. Or, I already tried out the, the nether area earlier. I'm going to do some nether stuff today. And allegedly... Am I jumping on candles? What? Huh. Wow, that parkour area is brutal. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, one more time here. I, 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 I can't parkour on candles. I've heard of walking on a walking on eggshells or things like that, but not. Oh, whiffed it. We're not doing that parkour. That particular one, we are not doing. We are not doing it. That one, we are not doing. So, that's a fantastic start to this episode. I've already given up on parkour. Wonderful. Let's see what other, th what other things the, the pit has to offer. Ooh. I see why they call it the pit. Uh, you'll recall a few episodes before we were kind of wandering around this area anyways. Oh, smited. Ooh, what's that over there? Let's go investigate. You see, this is going to be kind of a chillaxing episode. We're going to do a little bit of, uh, we're going to do a little bit of side exploration. Uh, walk around places, explore the pit, see some of the local sites. Oop. Nice. And just kind of take in what nature has to offer us. This is boring and I hate it. I hope something happens soon. <gasps> Hi! Oh, I bet he's the goodest boy. So what do we have here? I do believe that this is a tree. Hmm. It's a very large tree. Or it was a tree at one point. Interesting. I wonder if this is climbable. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thought you could sneak one by me, eh? Ah, uh, no, not today. No, no, you can't. Interesting. There's got to be... That tree has to play a part in something at some point. So I see these sort of things leading towards it. Maybe that's another dungeon. I think they're dungeons. Yeah, maybe that's another dungeon location. We'll be coming back to that later, hopefully. Dude, you can... This map is just nuts. This is so intricately built. Oh, do I spy a mushroom biome? Oh, I do. Wow. Mushrooms! Okay, okay, okay. Story time. So many, many years ago, when I first started playing Minecraft, I uh, one of my buddies uh, was part of the... Ooh, a parkour area over there. One of my buddies was part of the Two Girls, One Minecraft community, a 2G1M. I don't know how many people are familiar with that, or if anybody's even familiar with that. But uh, I was on... I was on... He brought me on to their... Ooh, hello, good sir. Fun guy? Interesting. Interesting. What's this area? I wonder if this is something I'm not going to be able to uh, do until later. Probably not. Tanner. 
the hell's Tanner? But anyways, I was part of the 2G1M community, and this is my very first Minecraft server. This is when I found out very quickly that I cannot build for shit. But they actually... So I joined the city. Uh, it was called Elkvale. They were basically obsessed with bacon. And uh, what ended up happening was... Oh, look at the axolotls. Axolotls? Yeah, look at the axolotls. Hmm. What's this? Oh. Cool. I'm gonna set my spawn point there. But anyways, I was a I was a part of their their little community there. Ooh, neat. And uh, they actually stuck me on a mushroom biome as the very first place where I lived. They had access to one in. Uh... Oh yes, please. So I, uh, so my very first, my very first spawn point in, or my very first place in Minecraft that I settled was in a mushroom, was on a mushroom island. I was the only person on it. Until uh, I made friends with somebody else and he basically kind of became my, uh, I made huge farms at the time, or I automated, uh, large farms at the time, so. I don't think I'm able to make this jump. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to make that jump or leave here. So, so I always feel a little bit of nostalgia when I enter into a, a mushroom biome, because this is where I made my start in Minecraft. And it was an awesome, it was super fun. I I definitely enjoyed my time on that server. Um, the community is kind of sense, you know, fractured and... But I still hang out with a couple of people from that community. You know, we started gaming together. Shit, it's got to be close to... 10 years now. We, we started gaming, and we still game, like, most nights. So that's that's awesome. It's, it's kind of cool how, uh, you know, friendships just kind of spawn from, you know, a common interest in video games. So that's, that's kind of my cool little kind of... A little bit of a, so a sappy story for me. So uh, long story short, I definitely feel a... a a deep sense of nostalgia when I when I find a mushroom biome because that was the first place I ever settled. Where I'm like, this is where. Well, I guess I didn't settle. I was kind of told you live on this island now. Like shit. Okay, I'll make this work. I had a I had a lot of I had a lot of fun on that server. Uh, really, 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 really fun. Really, really fun. So let's figure out now what we got to do. This. Is, so I feel like the. We, so I feel like there's other mechanics that I haven't encountered yet that I need to be able to take advantage of. Which I might end up doing when I... Is that the... That's the first dungeon over there. So that's the first dungeon. So the pit is right near dungeon number one. Interesting. I wonder what those airships are for. Is that some... I hope the airships are someplace that we get to go later. Go to later. Oh! Tainted Rat. Oh, I need to find a bed. Perfect. I want to, like, set my spawn points. Keep my spawn points set. So around here... Ooh! Hello, good sir. Yeah, here we go. I want... I lost a mystic bell I found on my last... Ooh, yeah. We lost the bell. I want another shot at this parkour, because I feel like this one I'm going to be able to do. If I don't screw it up. Yeah, it's this one. Oh, sweet Christ. My character didn't even try to jump. Okay, we're going to... Wow, that's that's actually embarrassing. I feel bad over that one. I was just not meant to do parkour. I am I need to stay in my lane. I am an adventure map guy and puzzle map guy only. How are you supposed to jump? Oh, hello sir. Let me just 
Does that make me a bad person? How am I supposed to make this jump? Very difficultly. So I almost have to jump at... So the jump is possible, but I need to jump at, like, the edge of the block. All right, one, one more time. One more time here. We're going to try this. If I fail this, I realize I just need to stay in my lane and not do parkour. Yep, I just need to stay in my lane and not do parkour. But I'm really stubborn and want to keep trying. <laughs> but I also think I should probably amount to something, something today. I don't know what that something is, but I should probably amount to it. You know what would be really cool? I was watching a video the other day. And the dude spawned a whole bunch of villagers on an island. I know it was modded and shit like that, but... Dude spawned a whole bunch of villagers. I made it. Oh, oh! Big rewards. Dude spawned a whole bunch of villagers on an island, and the villagers started building. Now, I knew there was YouTube magic happening in the background. But how awesome would that be if villagers would just do that, would just build? And we could watch them build up villages. I know there's a I know there's a mod, um oh what's it called? Mine colonies where basically that happens, but I want something like vanilla. Where you can like spawn in a special villager and per the amount of villagers nearby him, he'll I don't know, build some sort of proportionally big village village. Village, yeah, village. Oh, almost snuck by me there. Pit dwellers. This build is is absolutely monstrous. So where is the? It looks like the. I'm not doing the dungeon today, but I kind of want to get a grasp of where it might be. So I'm looking at it. It looks like. Over there somewhere? I don't know. I want to see if I can climb that. I don't know what that is, but I want to see if I can climb it. Ooh, there's, like, a little... There's something down there. We're going to check that out now, too. You know, screw it. We might just explore a little bit of the pit today as well. Like, I don't know. I'm just... This is kind of a freeform episode. You know, we do what we want to do today. We have no goals. We have no objectives. The only objective today is to have fun. And we're doing that right now. We are having fun. Hmm. Well, it looks like there's a... Could you pick up my order of anvils at the coastline? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, there's beds down here too. Nice. So if I decide to, uh, when I decide to explore, I don't have to worry about like spawning in a shitty spot. Whoa. Did did these guys get this all out of the pit? I want access to that room. Look at that. Yeah, I want access to that room, please. Somebody? Anybody? That room, please? Por favor? Now? Please? Yeah. Oh, it's like a little stacked housing. Oh, that's cute. That's actually really cute. You know, I, I've already, like, sung the praises of this map. I sing the praises of this map every time I play. But you can definitely tell the love that went into crafting every bit of this map. Um, 
I'm actually very curious here. Um, so I was coming up with some ideas the other night for ooh, a crate for some videos. I wonder where the coast is. I wonder if that's over that way. Maybe. I might go and try and pick up that guy's ambles at some point. I was I was trying to come up with ideas for, for videos. And I thought something that would be really cool. Look at this. Like, look at this design. This is just nuts how good this is. And I need to... Let me out! Just let me out, please. Thank you. I would be... I would love to, like... There's a couple of uh, map creators who I still, like, keep in kind of contact with here. Uh, just to check in and see, like, what cre what machinations they are making. And I would love to get, like, these map creators together to, like, make an adventure map. With the sole purpose of... To make a grand adventure map. With the sole purpose of, like, adventuring me to death. I want them to make, basically, Dark Souls in Minecraft. I want... I know that there is a Dark Souls Minecraft map already out there, but I want them to make a Dark Souls Minecraft map that I then set upon trying to beat. And I don't want it to be, like... I want it to be hard, but I want it to be fair. Like, I I think these people's... Like, uh... Actually, I would want a really big grand adventure map with lots of puzzles. So you're going on an adventure, but it's also a giant puzzle map. I would love to see... Like, these guys' builds with Mick 5s um, with Mick 5s uh, Redstone, and uh, Minecraft block knowledge, along with the Tater Team's puzzle skills. Like, I think that tritium of people would be a super deadly combination for Minecraft adventuring. Okay, I think I've done most of the wandering around here that I can. I think next episode... Well, I know next episode... We're going to figure out, it's right below me, wherever the entrance to this mine is, wherever the entrance to this dungeon is, it's below me. So I think, I'm not sure what I have to do to get there. I don't see a, I don't see a definite path, well I see a path down, but I don't know how it's going to screw me. You know, we'll, it, we'll, event, we'll, it move, we'll move the plot forward a little bit, so next time when we come back, you know, I can go enter into the pit of eternal, dam of eternal damnation or whatever this place is. So I feel like I should accomplish something. But I would love to see those three, like, team up and, and do a Minecraft map. Like, something that pushes me to the edge of my... Oh, uh, that must be it down there. No. Yes, that must be that must be it. Like I would love to see something that pushes me to the edge of my skill as a Minecraft adventure mapper. Like big exploration, big puzzles, big bosses, big everything. Oh wait. Oh, that's the guy's bell. That's the thing I needed. Thank you. That guy's going to Oh. Oh, that could have been really, really bad. Oh, here comes the here comes the bow and arrow from last time. I couldn't have advanced this way anyways. Oh, whiffed it. Now that's not fair. I'll and all honesty though, I probably should have waited to see kind of how that works. Okay, I know for next time. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.